Dart County Visitors Bureau. Hey, we're starting a new program with the Dart County Visitors Bureau. We want to take you out to different places that we have around the county. And we are going to start with, it's been called a, a hidden gem before, but we don't want it to be hidden anymore. This is the, the Garst Museum, and we invite you to come out here. Today, what we're going to look at is the Annie Oakley Center. This is Annie Oakley Capital of the World is right here in Greenville, Ohio. And you're going to see a lot more of that as we go throughout the summer and throughout the years. Uh, we have a legend that is from Dark County. And a lot of people don't know that she's from here. She's not just a myth. She was a living legend. And we have something to be proud about here in Dark County. So we're going to take you through the, the Annie Oakley uh, exhibit here at Garst Museum. And this won't be the last time that we're at Garst because there's a lot more to discover here. And you just need to get out here. Every year they're improving and doing more and more and more. And it's exciting to come out. So if you were here last year, come out again this year because you're going to see something entirely different, something entirely new. Uh, at the end of this, we're going to give you the hours for the museum. We're going to give you the website and a lot more information for you to uh, consume. Don't, I know you say you're from Dark County and, and you've lived here all your life. Maybe you came here when you were in grade school, but now is the time to come back and really see what we have going on here in Dark County. So we've got Eileen Litchfield. She's going to take us through everything today and uh, just give you a little bit of history on Annie Oakley and what she meant to Dark County and to Greenville. Welcome to the Garst Museum. Today we're going to look at the National Annie Oakley Center. This museum is huge. It's like six different museums, but we're gonna just focus on Dark County's famous daughter, Annie Oakley. One of the great things that people love to see when they come to the Garst Museum and see Annie Oakley's exhibit is how they measure up to Annie. She was pretty petite, but boy, could she shoot. Annie Oakley and her husband, Frank Butler, had a dog named Dave, who was a part of their act. Annie would shoot an apple off of Dave's head. Do not try this at home. Annie and her husband, Frank, were in the Wild West show for 17 years, and she was really the first female superstar athlete. She was shooting when only men were shooting, and here are some sketches from the Wild West show that show what um, an equestrian she was. Can you imagine shooting on a horse, riding upside down and being accurate? Can you imagine living out of a tent for 17 years? The Wild West show was the biggest thing around. There was no internet, no TV, and this was a really big deal. And she and her husband traveled for the 17 years, and besides riding on a horse, she could ride on a bicycle with equal skill and shoot in the show. We have a lot of Annie's guns. Uh, she has pistols and rifles, and we have some glass balls. They used to fill them with feathers, and so when she'd shoot them, the feathers would be quite showy coming down. And there's video taken from Thomas Edison's studio, one of the original videos, that shows her shooting. Go. Annie taught over 15,000 women how to shoot. She believed that women could shoot as well as men. They had just never been taught. She was as generous a person as she was a great shot. All of the gold medals that she had earned performing for kings and queens, she had melted down in later years and donated it to charity. Throughout the National Annie Oakley Center, you'll see lots of quotes about Annie and really learn what she was like as a person. This is probably the most notable quote, and it really applies to everyone still today. Keep on aiming. This is one of her prize trophies that she did not melt down. This is the loving cup that was presented to her by the people of Greenville in 1900 when the Wild West show came here. She loved it so much she had it put in this poster that she had commissioned. So all of this happened in Greenville. She was born in Northern Dark County and her childhood home, her birthplace, 
There are all places that you can visit while you're here in the Annie Oakley capital of the world. Check out AnnieOakleyCapital.com to find out more. There's lots of things to do while you're here.